Hi, this is a, uh, a lecture review of section 3.5, Transformations. And um, there are basically five transformations that we are talking about. Uh, there are more than that, but these are the ones that are in discussion for this course. Um, but what a transformation basically is, is taking a basic function or basic graph and moving it from a new, one location to another location or distorting the shape, but the, the shape doesn't change totally. It still, it still has the same image except it could be stretched or compressed. Uh, so in other words, so if you're dealing with a, let's say, absolute value function, which is a V-shape, after it's been transformed, you will still see the V. Now that V may be upside down, but it's still a V-shape. Okay. Now, the five transformations that we're going to be discussing <clears throat> is called, the first one is a vertical shift. And this is basically taking a function and going up or down with it. And uh, so if you have a basic function f of x and you have a, um, a transformation being applied to that, if you add some number to the y coordinates, now if that number is positive, it's going to go up. If it's negative, it's going to go down. And that's what this is saying. It's going to go up if c is a positive number, and it's going to go down if c is a, a negative number. Another type of a transformation is called a horizontal shift. In this case, there is a C, but the C is inside with the X. So if you notice, X runs horizontally, so if C is inside with the X, it makes sense that that's going to affect the horizontal shift of that function. When that number is positive, it's going to go left. When that number is negative, it's going to go uh, right. Okay, Kind of odd that it's that way, but it is. So, And then a vertical stretch is when you have a constant times the function. So there's a number on the outside, but that number is more than 1. So it's, the, the magnitude is more than 1. So if there's like a negative 2, it's still, uh, if the absolute value of that will be 2, and so it will stretch it out. So a lot of people have to call it that it makes the graph look skinny. And a vertical compression is the same idea, except in this case, the C is less than 1. So like 1 half or 1 third or something like that. And what that's going to make the V is it's going to flatten it out a little wider. So a stretch is going to, if this is the basic graph, the stretch is going to make it more narrow or skinny, but the compression is going to make it wider. So, uh, and then the vertical reflection is when there's a negative. And all that does is just turns the image upside down. That's a vertical reflection. Now, there are other, uh, there are other ones that are not on the list. There's a horizontal stretch, there's a horizontal compression, a horizontal reflection. So there's actually three more that we're not going to discuss too much, at least on uh, this little video clip here. And I want you to recall that there may be multiple transformations in a given problem. You could have up to four or five transformations being applied. So uh, we're going to probably do four at the most, but, uh, but you can have a multiple number of transformations being applied to a problem. Now, um, I gave an example. Uh, I'm going to graph the uh, negative 2 times the absolute value of x minus 1 plus 3 based on the basic graph of the absolute value of x. That's the v one, okay? And this is one that we learned back in uh, 3. Point, I think 3.2 or so, and we, we learned the basic graphs. So, but this is the v right here, okay? So f of x is the absolute value of x. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to apply this transformation to it. Now, if you look at the plus 3 right here, that's the vertical shift. So the graph is going to go up 3 units eventually. The uh, minus 1, since that minus 1 is negative, it's going to go right 1 unit. Okay? The negative 2, well, the negative is going to turn it upside down. That's a vertical reflection because it's negative. Now, the 2 is going to st stretch it out. So let's, let's put it in order of how we're going to do this. The minus 1 is going to go 1 to the right, so this V is going to go 1 unit to the right. The 2 is going to make it skinny. The negative is going to turn it upside down. And then finally, the plus 3 is kind of like the order of operations, work, work your way inside to the outside. So, so the first thing we would do is we would take the, the V and move it one unit to the right. So every one of the points will go one unit to the right. So that's what that does to it. Now the 2 is going to stretch it. So this picture then will stretch it by a factor of 2. So instead of being 1 unit apart, it will be 2 units from the y. So in essence, every y coordinate is doubled. So this y coordinate is 1. Now it's going to be now 2. Okay, there's going to be one out here like a 2. Well, then it would be 4. 
so it will stretch it out. Now the negative is going to take this graph and turn it upside down. So let's keep this get going back to the track a little bit. One unit to the right because it's one to two is going to stretch it. Now the negative two is going to take this image and then turn it upside down. It's a vertical reflection. So one. So it has that shape right there. So the negative is, doesn't do more than that to it. And then finally the plus three. So take this one and bring it up three units. So one, two, three. So this point right there goes up three units. This point at zero, negative two will go up three units. So, so it's kind of like copy and pasting, but just three units above it. So this one actually has one, two, three, four transformations being applied to it. So, and uh, but anyway, now if that was a one, if that was a one half, the graph would have been flattened out a little bit. Sometimes there's no negative in there, so there's no need to turn it upside down. So, uh, but these are the transformations that are being applied to this particular problem. Sometimes it's not, like I said, it's not as many transformations as four. Sometimes there's only like two or three. But uh, I'm trying to give you one that you might see everything on it. Um, but anyway, I did this in class, and uh, this is just kind of a little overview of what we did. Uh, we go into a lot more examples in class, so you need to make sure you're there.